And I'm Poetic. And I'm Fish, and we're the Wandering Food Dudes. And today we're here at the British Pantry in downtown Redmond. Uh, not only do they have this lovely little cafe, but they also have this bakery and in, uh, British import shop, as well as the Three Lions Pub. It's owned by the same family, and it has a walkway all the way through. And we'll show you a little bit of that as we go on inside. Let's go to the entrance here. But right first, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that Hit. bell, that notification yep. thing. Make sure you go ahead and know every time we post a new video, we're going to head on in. We'll put the link below. And we'll this is first. the import shop. Thank you. As you guys can see, it has everything from little snacks and um, doodads, like jams and chocolates, uh, to teapots. And you can also get some of their excellent pastries Ooh, some Chocolate biscuits biscuits that looks good actually some of their uh different sauces teas on that end teapots to our far left and everything so let's head on over to the pub and if we continue straight ahead you'll see that they have a bunch of their pastries to sell on our right. We'll go down here, show you guys the pastries. And they have a pretty extensive listing of bulk dessert pastries and dinner stuff like steak and kidney, cheese and onion and other great meals. Some imported cheese, Excuse and me. as we continue forward, we come to their cafe side, uh, which has a quite homey vibe to it with all the nice little doodads on the wall. So we're inside. As this is pretty typical of a uh, British area, which is everything just covering the walls of pictures and trophies and plates that they collected over the years. We have an I've, outdoor area here, which is super nice. Um, right now we don't need the heat, but they have a little thing here. And they do have little heaters here that you can get turned on. So, you know, when it's the little colder than normal, you know, you can still get your heat on and not have to worry about suffering from that. And we got our beers. I got my beer. And I got a got English something. breakfast tea. <laughs> uh, now, they do serve I'll high... Switch here. They do serve high tea here uh, from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. Uh, if you enjoy that with some fruit, pastries, and of course, lovely tea. I've, uh, I've come here four or five times now, and it's quite delicious. Quite worth uh, the trip here to Redmond. And uh, let's take a look at the menu, just to show you what's all up. So I'm gonna try to take this out without killing my ear because my piercing's there. Ooh, there we go. So what's up, y'all? So we're gonna go ahead and show you the menu. I got a beer here. I got the Sumerian, I believe it was called? So, yes. Sumerian, Sumerian beer. I'm gonna show you guys that. Check that out. Beautiful. No milk. That's sad. Oh well. And we're gonna go ahead and show you this menu real quick. It's an extensive menu. We're not gonna zoom in on it because hey. And it, the menu is also available online, which we'll put in the link below. Yep. Uh, what we did end up getting was there's smoked Scottish uh, salmon, which is quite delightful. Um, some cream cheese, capers, and of go. course the salmon Scottish itself. Style. Yep. Cabers, red onions, 14 bucks, not bad. And then I think we got the Lancashire pie, pasty, excuse me. Yes. Uh, right here, as you guys can see, it has lean ground beef, potato, carrots, onions wrapped in our special house made pastry served with chips. So here's the place. So we're going to go ahead and take a drink of this because, you know, why not? And they have a bunch of other uh, very popular British pub foods such as fish and chips, bangers and mash. Um, steak and kidney pie, uh, sorry, yeah. uh, steak and mushroom pie, uh, the plowman or shepherd's pie, uh, chicken curry pastry, uh, and then they also have a whole extensive collection of different pastries Huge. and toffees to be enjoyed. Uh, you saw just a very small portion as we walked through their import shop. Hmm, interesting. So this is a Sumerian. It's very light. I was not expecting that. I'm not a light person when it comes to beer. I like a darker taste, more like an amber kind of. Um, that's a little bit too light for me, but it's good. Not bad. 
It's very mild on the hops, but very refreshing. Definitely like a summertime drink when it's really hot. We're gonna hoe you, show you. We're gonna hoe you. We're gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna show you <laughs> this tea. And I got the English breakfast and tea. That's um, what it comes in. Nice little cozy to keep the tea warm. And also not burn your hands. Yes. Um, I, I really enjoy their breakfast tea, tea here. Uh, I typically enjoy it with a splash of milk and um, some honey. Uh, right now I just have some of the honey. So I'm going to mix that up just a tad bit. Would you like oh, wow. some little separate plates? Yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. And can I get good. a splash of milk? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And here is the amazing food, y'all. This is the pasty. I think try pasty with the fried. Those fries smell amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And there's that. Um, you have any hot sauce by any chance? We do, yeah. I got a little bit of hot sauce, please. Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you want to know how to do that? So we're going to get ready to try the food. Go ahead and try the tea first. Let us know how that tea is. Mm. Nice. Delicious? Yeah, uh, so it's a very um, stout tea as far as like, it's a English breakfast tea, so it's meant there to waken you up. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not sharing. <laughs> um, but I, again, I usually enjoy it with a little bit of milk in it, uh, which he's bringing, um, and just a tad of honey, and it comes out very lovely. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone, so we're back here. We got some of the food here, so we're going to show you real quick what we have. We already showed it to you, but just to show the you the smoked post. Scottish salmon show with the up. cream cheese, red onion and capers, and some chips and a Lancaster um, pasty, which is beef, uh, carrots, gravy, and a few other things. Um, potatoes, carrots, onion, and pastry served with chips. Perfect. So we got that, and then of course we got our beers and our teas and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and. Sit out here. Mm. Nothing like a bit of go. spot of tea when it's nice and cold out. Nothing like a beer when it's freezing. <laughs> no, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab some of this sauce here. You hand me that ketchup, por favor. So of course, as you guys know, we're gonna do without sauce. Start some, with some of these chips so that they don't get too cold while we're outside. Mm. Fries, in case y'all wonder. Very nice and crisp. Um, salt and peppered, very hearty. It is slightly cold uh, outside, so they've um, cooled down a bit, but it's still nice. Very crunchy, nice and smushy in the middle. I did um, ketchup and hot sauce, Tabasco. It's top of two, actually. You don't know me. Got to make something spicy. Mm. It's crazy with the spice. Definitely delicious. Hi. I'm checking in. Hello. Do you place one more order? Yeah. Do we place an order for the oysters? Or for the yeah, mussels? For the mussels? Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. And... Ooh, actually, we're gonna try the salmon. So it comes in slithers, which is nice. I would cut that up just so it fits on your cracker. Oh, the slithers? Just use a fork. Check it out. Boom, beauty. Do a little bit of the cream cheese. I'm not a capers fan personally. Never, never really like capers, but you know, you never know. If I tried, it might be good. And some of the cream cheese. So here's right here. Capers, the cream cheese, and the salmon on it. The crackers. Cheers. Mm. Not bad. I eat salmon often. <laughs> I eat a lot, so this is actually, I actually do this often. They, they do 
a lovely mm -hmm. job, very lightly smoking it, um, which comes out in the taste of the fish. And then you get the creaminess from the cheese, uh, the cream cheese, <laughs> and a bit of the uh, acid from the. Um, you get no creaminess in a cream cheese. None Not whatsoever. At all. At um, all. <laughs> a bit of crunch and uh, acid from the uh, tomato, uh, the red onions. Ugh, I can't talk today. I think he wants tomatoes. <laughs> Maybe. That's what I'm hearing here. So usually not a good sign means it probably been poisoned. <laughs> so we got the capers. Capers are usually salty, which is why this works well because you got the salt from that. You have the crisp, uh, the crunchiness from the onions, the, the acidness from the onions, and then you have the salmon you put on top of it. So you got the saltiness, the cream cheese. The creaminess, you have the onions, which is nice, and a little bit a little bit of acidity, not really much for onions. And then, of course, you have the cracker, which gives that extra crunch. So you eat that all together, you get a very umami flavor, very uh, very creamy, crunchy, salty, which creamy, crunchy, salty works you know very well together, so it's not, it's not a bad thing, honestly. And it's just a very savory dish. It makes a great appetizer to wake in the palate for the rest of the meal. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, mm -mm -mm. me personally, huge on the fries. Um, but I love fries and I love top of two, so it just works out. Mm. But their fries are crunchy on the outside, seasons, which is nice. It has like a nice crunch to it, not greasy at all. And it has a soft potato inside, which is nice and soft, but it just tastes delicious. I, I'm a huge fan of the fries. Like, I love fries, but like, I mean, these, the are, these are good. Chips. <laughs> For you wondering, well, because remember, you got to let them know. It's a British pub, so they call them chips. Fries are considered chips. So you guys come here and you ask for chips. You're like, oh, these aren't chips. These are fries. Now you know. Because <laughs> you'd be surprised, y'all. People have done that. We got to make sure we clarify. Fries, a.k.a. chips. It's true. Someone so might come here and say, oh, where's my chips at? And then they won't get it this I gotta make sure they know and as you saw um we ordered on camera with you guys and already Thank things you. are starting to come out of the kitchen so the fat service here is very quick Ooh, that beer is delicious i like that beer it's light but i i, I do enjoy it very much so we're gonna try the pasty curious to see how they do it here I've had them, I had them one back uh, a little while ago. I had it in the summer. I think last year I had one at this one place. Oosh. Oh, wow. So Very good. heavy on a brown gravy. Wow. Makes it usually you mop it up with the chips. Make sure I don't spill anything. So we're going to see how they do it here. We've had quite a few places that have done it. This looks phenomenal. Let's go ahead and take a little miniature bite here. Put some of that gravy on the chip. Mm. So the gravy is very nice. It's light. It has a nice, good base to it. Hold on. Yeah, I enjoyed it. That, that's a good gravy. Yeah, that's a great gravy right there. So. So it has a sausage in it, potatoes. It's a brown gravy. It's not a heavy gravy, which kind of like, kind of gets you like, kind of gets you like, eh, feeling a certain kind of way. It gets you, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta put my aside, because if I get a mix, I will not do them. I don't need that many, just grab the rest. So, what was I saying? Me off, Gravy. I don't know. So the pastry is nice and flaky. Really easy to tear apart. It's very nice moist inside because of the gravy. You can see the um, chunks of beef and the corn and the mashed taters that they mix in with that. And again, just absolutely fill it with the gravy, um, which is a nice and light, flavorful.
very, very lovely to take dip your chips in. If you like salmon, smoked salmon, very fresh. Washington's known for having good smoked salmon, though. It's true. That I would agree with. Very good smoked salmon. Very simple. Very easy. Uh, light. Something that you, a lot of people have for lunch. Um, actually, quite often during the day, people eat smoked salmon here. It's just a simple thing to eat. And delicious. Yeah. Right. Slice, slice, slice. Give me. So now that I've had this, now I can go ahead and add some sauce if I want to it. So, as always, hot sauce. But before I do, I'm actually have some of this because I've had the little bit of the gravy. But I haven't really had the whole thing, so it's flaky. It's a nice flaky pastry, not heavy. Literally just dissipates very easily. You have the mashed potatoes in there, you have the corn, so you have the nice veggies in there, you have the sausage in there. It adds just really good flavor to it. Um, it's simple. It's actually very nice for a cold day, honestly. It's very nice to have for a cold day. Now we're outside. This gives more room. Um, it's a little chilly out here, but it's, it's, it's still nice. That is the car alarm you guys are listening to that is going off right now. It is uh, whistling to the owners for some odd reason. <laughs> and we're um, pretty much in the downtown section of Redmond, so you're within walking distance of a lot of places to go see and do and hang out. Yeah. So... Unfortunately, y'all, there is a very large, very loud car alarm going off now. So please try to ignore that. Because that is not annoying at all. But as we continue this, how are you liking everything so far? Oh, I, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Like I said, I've been here four or five times for their high tea, um, which again gets served between 2.30 and 4.30. And that's usually like the tea, um, some pastries, some fruit, and other things, because they have four different types of tea setups. It was quite nice. One of the worst sounds to me is a car alarm. I just hate them. I hate them. But anyway, yeah. So, very and easy, the pastry very delicious. is very filling, very warm. The fries are my, are my favorite, honestly. I love the fries. They're just, they're just crispy on the outside. Not greasy at all. There's no grease to them, which is super awesome. It just it makes it just better. And then of course, the pasty I actually do like. I, I can't say the fries are my 100% favorite. I like the fries. If I was if I was around this area and I was like, oh, I want fries, I'd probably come here for fries. Nice thick uh, mashed potato in there. Carrots. It's simple. It's almost like um imagine like um almost like a empanada almost or like a hot pocket kind of thing. Where you have the, you know, you have the outer, the outer layer, the crust, and then you have the inside stuffing, you know, almost like a calzone actually. I'd say like it's kind of like a, a miniature calzone, except they bake the pastry themselves and all that. They so bake the entire thing. It just it tastes really. British good. pub food it's really, really is about warmth and hominess on cold, dreary days. Me too. You know, because Britain kind of like here has the overcast most of the year, and so they really create food to uh, counter that 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 feeling yeah and so it's really homey then you get some beers and some uh, whiskey in you and you're having a right right cheerful time yeah um so what else have you uh, what are you thinking about uh, the mixture of the ingredients that are within the uh, pastry is that something you've eaten before besides here I've had uh, like has pastries a few different places um, this one really compares as far as like what's all in there and the flavor profile. Uh, the family came here from Britain, I believe, 12 some odd years ago, if I recall correctly. Um, and the, it's a family joint, but what they have a. Um, so the it's ran by the family, and they're just fantastic cooks, very lovely people. Um, and Are like they I said, from Britain? huh? You know if they're from they're here? They're from Britain, they're yeah. From Britain. Um, 
they own the cafe, the uh, import store, and the pub next door, all all connected by one big long hallway. Okay. So no matter what, you're getting a big amount of things. They got cheeses, they sell jams, tea, biscuits, tea, biscuits, uh, cheese. cookies. Basically, a lot of things that you would find in Britain. Uh, I'm not sure if they have imported cheese. I, I feel like they might. They're imported cheese. I thought I saw them, but I w I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, and like if you get their cheese and tomato sandwich, it, it rotates what random um, imported cheese it is. So you have to ask the waiter which one it is. If you particularly mind one way or another. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Oh, teapots. Very lovely. Outside has the series of flags. And um, very nice outdoor sitting arrangement where we're at here. And our muscles are almost, are almost ready. And everything's been fantastic so far. Mm. So we got, um, you can pass, pass that real quick, the menu. No. So what we got right now, just so you guys can know what we're waiting for, we got mussels, as you guys possibly might have heard. So we got steamed mussels. So it's uh, sauteed in a sherry cream sauce with garlic, red onion, and tomatoes, served with fresh baked bread. I'm looking forward to that. Mussels are just simple, delicious, but that sounds like a mix that is going to be really, really, really good. Um, I like the fact that there's garlic in it. As you guys know, we love garlic. So that's what we're really, really just, um, that's probably one thing I'm excited about the most, more than the salmon. I like the salmon, but I honestly, I eat that quite often. I, I get it from, um, how do you say, I get them from bulk stores. <laughs> um, I don't mention any names because we're not promoting for anyone. And I just, you know, you know, <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of the, uh, Certain things, but yeah, bulk stores. Uh, salmon, if you're gonna get it, you get smoked salmon. Smoked salmon is probably one of the best things you can get, especially here in the Northwest. Yeah, the Northwest does smoked salmon extremely well, followed by probably our mussels and uh, local clams and stuff. The beer is like a blonde beer, it's light, airy, not very hoppy, honestly. It's not very hoppy at all. Uh, I'm very hoppy, but I'm cold. <laughs> They're cold. I mean, I'm in a t-shirt. That's oh. it. That's ill preparing, y'all. Oh, I'm perfectly warm. I'm cold. I'm thinking this is crazy. Well, I'm from the Caribbean, so you know, cold. Me and cold don't work. Heat is my friend. I take the sun all day over cold. Now, see, you can only put take so many layers off. You can always put more on. That's the only difference when it comes to like certain things. Is that I actually prefer to have, like, if I ha if I had no choice and I had to choose, I would rather choose cold and heat because in the heat once you take off everything you're pretty much done you're, you're like waiting and hoping <laughs> so that one i agree with but that, that's that's survivalist though mm -hmm. that's survivalist if you're cold you can add more things on to get better which even then you actually don't want to put too much things on because you actually want to warm you your chest start sweating yeah, yeah. You actually start, and it gets colder i've, so, I've done a few yeah. more survival competitions so we, than we you know have. our survival stuff so um but other than that yeah it's just it's pretty good they have a huge menu here definitely loving it um so far so good um, liking it and make sure you guys you know we'll put the link below um, but the good thing is this is our show so we can talk about anything you know I was thinking like what do you do like when we're waiting but you know what I was watching like Calvin he's uh, from you know on YouTube on fucking deliciousness FKM deliciousness and he just he goes crazy he just talks about anything everything you know whatever is whatever is happening and it's just you know it's a beautiful time so you know uh, in general, it's a beautiful day today. It's actually not that cold. It's a little chilly, but it's nothing horrible, honestly. It's actually quite simple. Um, but besides that, today I think we're going to be going maybe to um, maybe an Argentinian place. But honestly, I'm kind of in the mood for dessert. So we might end up going to some type of dessert place. Something light, not too heavy, because later on we're going to be going to an Ethiopian place. Uh, so that's to kind of give you an idea of what we do in between shoots here. Because usually what we'll do is we'll eat one place like this, wait two, three hours, then go on to the next place. And usually we talk about, okay, well, what can we do better for y'all? Uh, what kind of feedbacks have we been getting from you? Uh, what can we do to improve? What is, where's the next place we're going? What's the plan ahead? And of course, uh, sometimes we just get some drinks someplace and uh, relax and- uh, Dick around? Yeah. Yeah, you know, just be real, be real with it. So, you know what? This gets, in, that gets you guys to get us to know us better, so. Um, as you guys know, in the welcome video, I went to, con I went to culinary trade school. I love food in general. Um, 
So you guys will see as the time goes on, so when you guys start watching this video, you're gonna see from both of us, as the time goes on through the next few months, you guys are gonna see a drastic change of weight because we're both trying to you know, lose our weight and do stuff. This is actually the only time we eat like this. We, yeah. That we eat heavy like this because we, we just, it's, it gets a lot. It gets to be a lot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it gets to be quite a bit. So it's one of those where Usually like, all we do is eat on camera and then the next day we don't eat much yeah, at all. Like the day after, I'll usually like pop something different. Oh, oh gosh, excellent. Perfect. Oh, great. Okay, this is, this is wonderful. Would you like a new knife? Um, no, that's good. good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Thank, Thank you. you so much, though. Then, There's some soup spoons. Actually, we'll put this like here. That. Perfect. I will put this here. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Wow, oh, this is perfect. Oh, wow. Oh, mm. that is, yep. That is. Looks so good. Now that, that is what I'm talking about. Oh, can you smell that? Mm. Okay, I gotta take a picture of I that. I can't. That is... <laughs> oh, you're missing out, bro. Sadly, I have no sense of smell. Oh. <laughs> Just a sense of taste. Oh. Imagine happiness. Oh, man. That's that's what you're getting you're, here. You're, you're telling me things that the government took from me long ago. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see. I spent a few years overseas, oh, <laughs> Iraq, no. Afghanistan, and a few other places. So like, it's a bit of a running joke between us. I understand. And <laughs> check that out. That Do is you want gorgeous. Me to take any plates out of your way? Uh, you yes, please. Thank you. I gotta show you guys because it just looks good. Ooh, excuse me. Actually, oh. thank you. Thank you. Say, Actually, you can take these because I got the muscles on that. Oh, okay. that's my face, y'all. <laughs> I was not trying to be this close. <laughs> okay, it worked out like that. <laughs> Here are the muscles. So these are the ones that are in the, um, what is it? Cherry cream sauce with garlic, red onion, tomato, served with a fresh baked roll. You see the roll in there, guys? No, you don't. It's over here. Let me show you. <laughs> it's trying to trick you. Yay. Here's a roll with some butter. So we're going to go ahead and get some because, you know, why not? Ooh, good thing. Put that there. As he's spilling messes all over our camera. It's just life. It's the beauty of life. So here we go. So now we got some separate plates here for the mussels, for some napkins and some butter. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. First things first, grab a mussel, put it in some cream sauce. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of mussels. Can y'all tell? No. <laughs> but, um, bro, oh my God. You, you gotta put it in the, in, in the sherry cream sauce. Uh, oh I'll, I'll do that next. Oh, that's, that, that's part of it. Mm. See, it's not a separate sauce. This mm, no. is a sauce with it. And I, I get that. You gotta, you but gotta, oh, it's beautiful. It's very lightly chewy. Where mussels, a lot of times, if they overcook it, it becomes very hard to chew. This is only like, Two, three chews before mm. you're all the way through it. Um, oh my god. Very light on the salt water taste. And so you're really breaking out a lot of the flavor of the uh, spices they added in. And let's try it with some of the cream here. Mm -hmm. Here's a butter if you want. Mm. And a very intense cream, um, cream sauce to it. So you can taste the sherry, a little bit of the sherry with the garlic sauce, the tomato, the red onions. Yeah, you can taste you can taste the entire ingredients on it, which is phenomenal because you go some places and they kind of kill it when they when they reduce it. When they reduce the sauce sometimes. They don't, you don't always get to taste everything in it. So you taste the tomato in it. You taste the uh, sherry sauce and it's, it's broken down just so beautifully. Well, and the bread is super soft. It's super savory. Mm. There's the butter right there. Okay. Very good. Oh, wow. That, that, I'm loving the mussels. The mussels are definitely my, um. Your, your favorite on the list. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I love seafood in general, but the mussels is where, the mussels is where it at, where it's at. Better than the salmon, better than the, the pasty. Mm -hmm. For me, I, I, I still like the smoked salmon a bit better, I think. No, oh. I like the salmon, but I think for me, guys, I'm kind of biased because I eat it almost at least two times a week. So for me, it's like, eh, it's, you know, it's, I've had the salmon often. Fair enough. I don't eat mussels often. And when I do, it's not with the delicious sherry sauce. But that, 
was phenomenal. I'm gonna open these muscles right here. Let it fall right into that sherry sauce. There's the onions in it, of course. You gotta suck some of that flavor out of it, you know what I'm saying? The price ranges are pretty reasonable. It's like $12 for the mushrooms, 14 for the salmon, something like that. And then I think another 12 bucks for the, the pasty. Um, yeah, 16 for the mussels, 14 for the salmon. Oh, I was off. 85 for the uh, pasty. Eight, <laughs> eight, what? <laughs> You're just pulling a drink again. Oh. Not 85. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like 12 or something for it. Put on all those lines. Simple, delicious. Love it. The sauce, go to, y'all. Definitely go to. If you like mussels, this is the dish right here. Mm. Oh. So, overall, very lovely experience. Very friendly crowd every time I've come here. Um, when you're inside, they have more relaxed style music very uh instrumental usually um very friendly staff pretty quick uh any other things that you think really makes this place stand out um, of being a first timer here i don't about stand out um i mean compared to other british places i've been to it stands out your restaurant in general i have to come a few more times i think it is definitely a go-to place Definitely want to come here. It's very delicious food, everything in general. Um, like I said, I've had the salmon a million times, so for me, it's not like a huge, huge deal. But honestly, if you're someone who doesn't eat salmon a lot, good dish. Very, very good dish. Highly recommend it. Um, if I had to choose the pasty and the mussels, is probably my biggest one. If I had to choose between those, definitely the mussels. It just has a very nice sherry sauce. It's just, it's just, it's overall delicious. It's very good, very hearty. The mussels, like you said, are very soft. They break down very easily, which is, you know, you can actually get chewy mussels. Um, then you have, you know, the nice tomato sherry sauce um, with the onions. <clears throat> and ah, that's what I was going to say, the garlic. There's garlic in it. It's not a strong taste, which I like strong, but it's actually still very, very delicious. So um, definitely recommend it. Very good. We enjoying the food. Highly, uh, highly recommend enjoying this. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon on this. Because and by the time you muscles. see it, it will be past uh, things, um, St. Paddy's Day. But they actually do have a St. Paddy's Day special of corned beef and hash. Uh, for the 16th and 17th of March, um, uh, which is just something absolutely delicious and to go for. Um, of course, they have Guinness and um, other, uh, Ooh. the whiskey. Uh, whiskey. <laughs> the Irish whiskey. Jameson is the word I was looking for. Whiskey. <laughs> so they have that very delicious place. You know what, honestly, I do recommend it. Um, in terms of, do I find it like, I don't know. I definitely recommend it is what I'm saying. Very good place, very delicious. Um, honestly, everything was phenomenal. It was very nicely made, very simple, but very flavorful, not too, too heavy, which is very nice. Um, loved it in general, so I definitely look forward to coming back here quite a bit and enjoy some of the other meals and stuff. Um, so besides that, we want to thank you guys for coming and watching this, uh, this um, video with us. Video. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit the, uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell. For the notifications so you guys can know every time we put videos out uh, definitely leave comments out let us know how we did how we didn't do what we need to do what we need to add what you would like to see more any um, questions you have about us the yeah. food or anything in general please we're, leave feel we're free to yeah, leave we're definitely going to do a, a question video of just different questions for us you know different things that people can do to see and whatnot um follow us on our instagram we'll be going live on that quite a bit um other than that um can i actually get a glass of water yes. thank you yeah, no, thank you um besides that make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to us show us some love our biggest thing, like we tell everyone, is we're trying to help little restaurants or small restaurants, just local businesses in general, really get out there and get their name out there. It's free advertisement for them, and we don't mind doing it and, and you know, buying all this lovely food and, and, and letting them, you know, get known because that's something that we just, it's our passion. So we want to be able to travel the world and do this soon. So y'all, thank you for coming in. Y'all um, have a great day. Remember, follow us. If you don't like us, hit that dislike button twice. Uh, share this as much as you can. Comment as much as you can because this is going to be huge for us. Uh, other than that, y'all have a great day. And as always, keep on wandering.